Hi everyone, my name is Alison. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take you on a tour of all the best places that I shop in Sydney to avoid this inflation that's going crazy at the moment and to save money on groceries. So this is a bit of a different style of video than I normally do. I'm trying more of a vlog style so let me know what you think and if you like it. The first stop today is Primo Small Goods. So they make um, like salamis and deli meats and that kind of thing but they also have a direct to the public wholesale meat uh, butchery I suppose on site where their factory is it's in Chalora so I'll just film while I'm shopping and show you what they've got and check out the prices as well a really good price, $4.99 for a whole salami. This is awesome. $5 a kilo for shredded ham. That's amazing. Um, another $5 a kilo. is a really good buy. $8.99 per kilo for pastrami for the beef. Looks really nice. This would be my pick for today. Um, $4 a kilo for middle bacon, $1 per package and you can freeze that easily. Meatballs, $2 a bag. Chicken breast. Fifteen dollars per kilo. This is pretty good. This is $2 for beef meatballs. Um, this is a really good price. This stuff's quite expensive, $2. Mm, these look quite interesting. Obviously this for $1 is amazing. They've got middle cut and they've got just the rounds for a dollar. I bought 10 of those. I think these are almost half what they are in uh, Coles or Woolies. 250. So stewing meat, $20 per kilo. Stroganoff strips, $20 per kilo. Okay, we're back in the car for stop number two. So this is 10 minutes down the road from the Primo Meat Place. This is in Homebush, it's called Eco Farms. And I'll show you what it looks like outside, but directly opposite from Flemington Produce Market is Eco Farms. So they do organic produce. They also have like a small pantry and meat section. So I come here to get like really cheap organic 
um, produce because it's so expensive and it's important to me and I really do want to eat more organic food but it's just ridiculously expensive and the um, I find that the range that they have in Coles and Woolies is really small and you can only get like three different kinds of things um, at this place you can actually order box loads so if you do um, food preservation which is what I do like if you do canning or freezing or that kind of thing you can actually order boxes of organic produce pretty cheaply when they're in season and then you can just freeze it yourself or you can can it or whatever uh, food preservation dehydration that kind of thing so that way I can eat just really good quality organic produce at a fraction of the cost so it's it's much better than sort of buying those little packages that you get in Woolies I'll show you what it looks like outside but it's directly opposite Flemington Market so the entrance to the market is behind me and their shop is in front um, I think they also have some specials I think their specials are I'll find out from in the shop but I think it's like 15% off on certain days like Wednesday before they get their new produce in for the week so that's a really good deal if you can swing that as well and they do have a membership where you get a percentage off if you sign up to them as well so make sure that you do that yeah so um flemington so sydney market is over there and we're directly across the road this is Parramatta road and then you can see the sign so eco farms whole food and organic market and then if i spin you around so this is what the um shop looks like so let's go have, have a look So this is the clearance section that I was talking about. So what they have is they have a bunch of stuff that's on clearance and then they have all the prices at the top here. So you can see like these um, organic juicing carrots are $2 a kilo. Um, organic lemons, organic kiwis. So I mean, you know, you can see these are on clearance because they have a split in them, but they're totally fine. Like you could easily cut that up and freeze it or put it in smoothies or anything like that. Um, so what do we have? We've got um, organic free range eggs. So this um, organic butternut squash soup. So it's $1.99. So you could easily freeze that. Um, and it already has a pretty long shelf life. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, so organic, uh, I think that's cabbages it's 99 cents which is a bargain so you could easily wilt that down put it in the freezer um organic celery what else mandarin so these are some of the clearance veg prices so i'll just see if you can see that so i mean these prices are amazing like so organic lettuce, um, organic mushrooms, organic onions. So they don't always have everything. So you have to just come and see what they've got um, that week. But yeah, you can save a lot buying this. And then they also have a, so this here is the clearance grocery section. I'll just, I'll just move away from that fridge because it's quite loud. So sorry if the audio is not perfect, but so this is um, all organic and it's all on clearance so like these what do we got um, so last time I was here unfortunately they don't have the deal anymore but last time I was here I got um, organic salsa and it was 50 cents so it's 570 now and that's on clearance I got these for 50 cents when they had a whole stack of them and I think I bought about 10 it was an app absolute bargain and they have a long shelf life because they've been canned so that was a really good deal so they don't have that right now but keep your eye out for that um what else do they have so these are really good for like prepper pantry and stocking up 99 cents so organic baked beans 
black beans, lentils. These are all 99 cents. Yep, 99 cents. So like what an absolute bargain. You can stock up your pantry long term with organic products for really, really cheap. Um, here we go. This is a really good deal. So $3.99. Mediterranean roasted capsicums certified organic $3.99 I think that's a great deal and I mean this stuff will keep on the shelf even if it says it's sort of got a oh no this has even got a long shelf life this is still 2024 so that's a really good deal this this is amazing I make my own pesto but it is a lot of work to grow everything and stuff like that so for four dollars you can have organic pesto on the shelf that's shelf stable that's a really good price as well even these a few dollars protein mix um, like amazing organic chickpea fettuccine two dollars so look at this black bean spaghetti 50 cents 50 cents certified organic I'm definitely gonna get some of these that's amazing it's also gluten free coconut flour $2.99 I think this is probably like $10 in the store um, $2.99 flour so ancient grains $3.99 organic bread flour more pesto that one's a bit more Oh, I love Dr. Bronner's soaps. Do you guys love this? This is awesome. Um, organic crisp bread, $2. Organic. Is this organic? Hmm. No, I don't think that's organic. That's okay. It's like 99 cents for coffee. Um, so here, I think this is for the box. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So, um, Cobb's popcorn, sweet and salty. This entire box is $4.99. This entire box of 12 spaghettis is $4.99. So what else do they have? Popcorn, fiber, what's this? Natural fiber seed blend with oats. So $3.99. I don't think this is organic, but this looks really quite nice and it's quite it's quite a lot it's quite heavy it's a lot of cereal and there's all different kinds um, oh this is a good price three dollars sesame seeds you can make your own tahini with this um, Bob's red mill whoops okay um, oh, these are these look nice they were seven dollars two dollars black currant and manuka honey that's awesome. Gonna get some of those. Uh, seaweed snacks. I really love this brand. I think it's from New Zealand. Um, what else? They've got whole flats down here of um, organic diced tomatoes. So $20. Hmm. $20 for those. That's okay. I think I usually wait until they're 99 cents and then they're a bit cheaper. What else do we have? Mm, teas? Don't know. These are 20% off. Um, they've got a lot of tea at the moment. Hmm, I think that's kind of the best deals I think that I showed you. Um, oh, there's another section back here. So think this is pretty good chop chip cookies gluten free dairy free egg free um, rice crackers so yeah um, they also have um, organic dairy and they've got a small amount of meat but I find it just it's a bit too expensive so I don't usually get the meat. Ooh, 
So this is interesting. They had these on Grays Online recently. Oh my gosh. $33. So I think on Grays Online, I saw that they had these and I think they had like, um, I don't know, five liters for $12 or five of these bottles for $12 or something. So that's quite good. I'll actually look that up and see if I can find that again. Um, so then they have a whole produce section as well. So you can have a look at some of these prices organic lemons oranges the apples are pretty good at the moment it is the middle of winter so i mean normally they have a lot more kind of um produce stuff um what else they also have like a uh what do you call this bathroom home cleaning stuff like that I think this is probably a pretty good price, Figs, current sultanas, pro, prebiotic, uh, psyllium, seed blend, bread cookies. Wow, this was $34 and now it's $3.99. So, uh, pepita, sunflower kernel, linseed, chia, sesame, poppy seed, buckwheat, and millet. Wow, hmm. that's awesome. Could definitely add that to so it's bread, cookies, crackers, salads. That'd be great on salads. That's a bargain. Seed blend. Oh, okay. So seeds with psyllium. Seed blend with fruit. Ooh, that would be awesome for making your own granola. I think I'm gonna get some of these. Um, let's have a look. The ingredients. Ooh. Um, pepita, sunflower, linseed, chia, dried fig, sultana, currant, sesame seed. Mmm, I think this will be tasty. Serving suggestion? Mmm. Or seed blend with oats. Bircher porridge power bars cookies. Mmm. Oats, seeds. Mmm. I think it's better value to get sort of like the straight seeds or these ones. What else? Didn't see these before. Crispy rice clouds. Uh, I do need some bouillon. Vegan bouillon, $6.99. Organic. Hmm. I have lots of beans and lentils at home. Uh, don't know whether to get some. Hmm. Can't help myself. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I'll just get some. Can't hurt. Choosing apples, five fifty. Um, oranges, uh, three seventy five for organic, that's pretty good. Um, so here's a great deal. So they've got um, 12 cans of organic baked beans for $10. So that's less than a dollar per can. So that's the um, absolute organic. So that's a really good price to stock up your long-term pantry. Um, it's more of the popcorn. Here we go. Um, for all the bakers out there, I'm not really that much of a baker, but um, this is pretty good, I guess. It was $176. It's now $85 for 20 kilos. So sometimes here they have bags of oats and other stuff like that. Um, and another one there, yeah. So 
more produce so organic bananas five dollars a kilo what are these so whole grain snacks these look pretty good $1.99 This is why I still grow my own because um, it's just so expensive. Yeah. Sweet potatoes are okay. What else? They've got um, spices and I uh, haven't seen this section. This is a new section. There's so frozen stuff. So frozen veggies, ice creams, berries, meals. Salmon. I got these good straws last time I was here, so stainless steel straws, dollar fifty. So fresh produce section. So this is the um, normal stuff. It's not the clearance stuff. So this is the regular prices. These look really nice, wow. So obviously if you order boxes of stuff, you can get things a lot cheaper um, for preservation, but. Still quite expensive, which is why I um, grow my own stuff. I think that's enough for one day so that's only two shops but i have a whole list of like 20 different um, discount grocery stores organic places meat suppliers uh, i want to take you to the pendle hill meat market i want to take you to costco there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do at costco when you're looking at their pricing so that you can see what's on clearance and you can really uh, stock up on lots of bulk items when their stuff is marked down and you can get some good deals so please stay tuned to my channel and there'll be a whole series of how to save money coming up in the next couple of videos see ya I don't normally do haul videos, but this was such a good haul that I wanted to show everyone what I got and the prices. So um, the absolute deal of the day was this bacon. So this bacon, 250 grams, it's pretty big, was $1. So I got 10 packages of bacon for $10. That's just crazy and you can, it's already shrink, shrink wrapped. So you can just throw these in the freezer as is. So that's an absolutely great deal. Um, these beef meatballs, these were $2 a packet. Mm, I don't know if that's worth it, but this, this is a really good price. These are like quite expensive because um, it's the fancy kind of, um, you know, Spanish style tapas salami stuff. That was $2 a packet. Um, the only thing I didn't buy at Primo was this mince. That's just from my local butcher because I really like their mince. Um, this uh, sliced pepperoni, so two kilos was $40. So that's $20 a kilo. Um, but it's a lot. Like it is, that's a lot of salami, you know what I mean? And you can freeze that and make pizzas and stuff like that. Great deal. Um, this uh, two kilo bag of diced bacon was ten dollars so that was five dollars a kilo um already chopped up so you can actually just throw this straight into your air fryer cook up a whole bunch of it make it all crispy and then you actually freeze it cooked then you can throw it into a caesar salad or any salads you're doing and it's super easy you don't have to make a big splattery mess every time you want to make bacon um i got uh this chicken breast Quality is pretty good, just regular chicken breast, nothing special. Um, a good deal was this um, pastrami, it's really nice, and that was $8.99 a kilo, so that's pretty good price for pastrami. I got sliced turkey breast, I got this really nice stewing meat, this was $18.99 a kilo, but the quality is really nice, hardly any fat on it at all. So I'm actually doing a big canning project of that today, so I'm going to preserve that, um, actually, I'll show you. I'm going to preserve it in these jars. If you use a pressure canner, you can actually can um, beef stew shelf stable for up to two years. So it's pretty awesome. So that's what I'm going to do with all this meat. So yeah, I'll just show you my receipt. If 
you want to have a look at the prices it's pretty awesome so yeah this is today's haul so that's going to keep us in meat for a long time at a really good price if you guys go let me know in the comments if you go and check it out and what you guys got thanks